good day down at the allotment and in the polytunnel as you can see it's mid-april and this is the time the next sort of two three four weeks it's a really busy time for seed sowing and pricking out and planting out and a whole range of things that us allotmenteers and gardeners get used to and today is quite an exciting day for me as we are planting our winter squash now you may remember that last year we saved seed from a cross of a squash between an uchiki curry which is a red acorn squash and a crown prince which is an f1 squash so the uchiki curry uchiki curry is round and quite red quite a vibrant red whilst the crown prince is a big sort of heavy grey green pumpkin what we had last year is we had we sowed seed from the previous year and last year we had some fruit from the plants from these squash plants that we called cheeky prince because they were a cross between the uchiki curry and the crown prince and we now have a crown prince uchiki curry cross now there's various videos that we've done on crossing of pollination sorry cross pollination between squash and pumpkins so we'll put a thing up here or there or here it is and um but today what I'm doing is I'm sowing seeds that we saved from the best cheeky prince fruit that we had last harvest season, which was in October. Now we set a challenge for people to simply grow cheeky prince and seeds for this challenge have been sent virtually all over the world, certainly Australia, Finland, uh, Canada, Northern Canada, India, the UK, the US, um, the Channel Islands, Germany, Italy, Switzerland, and one other place, and Mexico. So there were a lot of people who requested seeds, or a lot, I think there was about 40 people who requested seeds and they've hopefully all received them now and today is the day that I'm going to be sowing the cheeky prince seeds and we will see whether they come true or whether they don't it's a bit of a lottery It'll be interesting to see what we do get so if you have not sowed your cheeky prince seeds as yet maybe now's the time to to do so particularly in the UK at least if you've still got snow on the ground i know some of you still do then maybe don't sow them outside but sow them inside okay what else are we growing we are growing so we're growing the cheeky prince we are growing some crown prince save seed now this save seed was on a plot where no pumpkins no other pumpkins were being grown around it I think the closest pumpkin was actually about 250 meters away in somebody else's garden so we'll see what happens whether these come true then from um, seed parade we've got the good old butternut waltham which we grew last year and had huge success with and Richard had his little squash family with these as well and then we have one other where is it i have lost it hold on i'll be back in a second it was at my feet <laughs> so this is a spaghetti squash the seeds of which we got from erica from erica's little welsh garden and this is something of a a memory achievement for me because as a young kid i always i saw spaghetti squash in i think it was a Sutton's or Thompson and Morgan catalogue 
and I thought I want to grow spaghetti squash because I loved pasta and I thought I was a little kid I thought that you grew a squash and you would get sort of spaghetti inside it which of course you don't but you get threads of squash which sort of have the appearance of spaghetti so thanks very much for these Erica that is a, a, a sort of virtually well it is a lifelong dream almost maybe by about eight years but looking forward to this how am I going to grow these I'm going to put four seeds in a nine centimeter pot I'm going to let those grow on and then I'm going to separate them and put them on individually because I find maybe it's not going to work for me this year but I find that the the seedlings like being potted on relatively young so I'm going to put four in a nine centimeter pot and then I'm going to pot those on when they have grown when they're just appearing with their true set of leads I'm going to pot them individually into a nine centimeter pot so I'm going to do eight eight pots so that that's 32 pumpkin or squash uh, I'm not quite sure how many I'm going to do of each but I'll work it out I'm going to fill the the pots up with potting compost I'm going to make four holes about an inch deep put one seed in each and then cover up with the potting compost so I'm going to get on with that now so I've decided to grow four of Erica's spaghetti squash because I'm not quite sure how they do. I'm going to grow eight each of the Waltham butternut and the crown prince and I'm going to grow 12 of the cheeky prince. So we'll see how many come up. I might do a separate sowing in about a week's time but I'm just going to get on now and so these That's my winter squash sown for this year, or the first sowing. As I say, I will do another one just for backups and also for the Hanwell Carnival, which where we sell plants at. Now, I stupidly didn't bring enough Crown Prince seeds down, so what I am going to do is... There's two spare holes there, which I need to sew into. So I will do those tomorrow. But now I'm gonna give these all a really good water and then they are going into our outside little grow house. Like a lot of people have got those green grow houses, the arch ones, these are going to go into that because they don't I don't believe they need the heat and it looks as though we're not going to get a severe frost 
obviously if you're in different parts of the country or different parts of the world it may be sensible for you to sow these indoors here are our squash seed sown and tucked away cheeky prints at the front and then various other varieties butternut waltham crown prints and then at the back on the left the spaghetti squash that erica sent here we've got our sunflowers for nick allotment diaries sunflower challenge and also our courgettes right at the front here in this front row and some tomatoes further tomatoes at the back so this is in our little grow house next to our shed so i'm just going to tuck them up so that's it for today that's the cheeky prince challenge seed sown for 2019 if you are taking part in the cheeky prince challenge then just do hashtag i can't say it hashtag cheeky prince and uh, we'll be able to follow people's progress. Okay, hope to see you soon. If you like what we do, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you don't, then you don't. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye.